All right, and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, innit? <laughs> Watcha. Watcha. <laughs> Today we are reviewing two weeks. What's it called? Two weeks to live. Two weeks to live. Blood. <laughs> I'm not sure what that accent is, but okay. I don't know. It's, it's hard when you have to do it. A woman sets out on a secret mission to honour her father who died under mysterious circumstances when she was a young girl. When he was a young warthog. When she was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog. Hi, I'm Ribbon. I'm Kay. And so we're back with the Ruby Tuesday doing another review. This is a bit of a weird one. Uh, if you were hoping to catch this in the UK, it was on Sky. It's literally the last night tonight that it's airing. Um, and then it's going to be a HBO original. They've obviously mm. exchanged the rights. So it was a Sky original and now HBO have bought the rights to make this theirs. Um, so if you have a VPN, you can possibly, if, if you have HBO or, you know, get a 30 day trial or whatever, get a VPN and watch it on there. Um, otherwise, <laughs> you can't watch it in the UK unless you have a VPN. <laughs> well. uh, but for all the HBO viewers, welcome. This is our review. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So this is a quintessential British comedy drama. <laughs> it is so dry. It's so British in so many ways. There are some dialogue scenes that are just too wonderful. They're so good. Very good. They're they're really funny, but in that in that really kind of kind of lock stock dialogue. Yeah, very, very quick very and much. punchy. Yeah, very interesting. It reminds me of Hannah. I think that's what we said. Hannah yes. and uh, Kimmy Schmidt. Yes, it, it's like Hannah Kimmy Schmidt crossover. There, um, <laughs> the one thing, the one thought I did have about this: there are twenty-four minutes each per episode, six episodes, classic short series for a British series. Uh, if you removed the credits and the intro, it would be twenty minutes a piece. So we're talking a two-hour movie, and mm. I kind of felt like it could have been better as a two-hour movie. We didn't need the breaks in between because it's so easy just to continue watching that story. It flows really well. Yeah, it does. Um, so I know if you're going to watch this, you're probably just going to want to binge watch the whole lot. You know, you'll be done and dusted in two hours. Uh, well worth your time. Absolutely. I thoroughly enjoyed the acting. I thought everyone was really strong. Um, I loved the, the awkward quirkiness of some of the characters. Um, again quintessentially British humour. I thought that the way Maisie Williams handled herself was really good. I f it felt believable to yeah. me. The way she moved, the way she, you know, did some of the fight scenes. I think there was like maybe one or two punches that I was like, oh, that was a bit girly. <laughs> but most of the time, she really showed that she's uh, she's got some spunk. Yeah, which is why we mentioned Hannah. There was one really great fight scene. Mm. Uh, I, I wish there would be more of those. It starts off with a bang and then it does dip a little. Yeah, there is a bit a of a slow little. pacing where they're trying to introduce us to the characters that they want us to follow throughout. Uh, but then it, again, it picks up to the end and we get back into that quirky dialogue banter. Um, you know, just stuff that wouldn't happen in real life when you're in a gunfight and then suddenly you're having the conversation about, you know, your mother's cooking or the fact that you didn't, you know, do something or you want to finish your drink. It's that sort of comedy that is so rife when it comes to British humour. Yeah. Um, it's the type of stuff like uh, early, early uh, Lockstock, you know, that from Guy Rich's early mm. content. Um, it's just so fast and frenetic. Uh, and uh, if you know British stuff, you'll love it. Um, if you love British humour, you'll love this. Um, the score, I, I couldn't, th it was good. Do you know what? It, it was so understated that it didn't really make much of an impact on me. However, whenever they didn't have dialogue and they just had music, it was too loud. Because mm. I was constantly, turn it down! Yeah, so the so score was good, but it, they a lot of series suffer with this at the moment where mm. their levels are just off. So you're constantly adjusting and we, you know you can test it on your TV audio. It's like, is it just my TV? And then you test it on your surround and it's like, okay, literally the, the levels are too loud. Uh, yeah. for the music and then you have to turn it down I'll turn it up when they're speaking that is annoying I, mm -hmm. I do I don't get I don't get it because it seems to be that th that is the thing for a lot of TV series yeah at the moment. I'm not sure why that's happening maybe it's something to do with some sort of new technology they're using I don't know yeah maybe whatever the case may be I must say though we've mentioned a lot about British humor and it being dry and all of that but I would say that it's not so dry 
that if you're not British, you won't enjoy it. No, I think it's well written that yeah. regardless of where you're from, you're going to find enjoyment out of this. It's very, it's very quick and punchy. So there's not a lot of time、um, for the dip in the middle. I think you'll love it. I think it's when you think of really great British comedy series, this is going to be one up there. I do feel like this one flew under the radar a little bit、totally. here in the U- UK. Yeah, we're normally up to scratch when it comes to.、Um, Content like this, particularly, is kind of our niche. We love、uh, this stuff. We love the Hannah kind of genres,、uh, and this just flew out of the, under the radar. It was only because、yeah. of HBO that we saw it、uh, coming up. I do hope it gets a second series. I personally thought Maisie was fantastic. Yeah, she was. She's off the wall a little bit with her acting. You know, she kind of grew up in the Game of Thrones. You know, she did eight seasons,、um, and I think we mentioned that it, it felt like. Her character was her character, and she wasn't really given a place to kind of expand、uh, or go outside of the lands of her like core parameter of what that actor should have been. You know, you, you like Westworld. <laughs> yeah, you have to be that, and that's what you are.、Uh, but here, it feels like she got to play a bit with her talent, and so we fe- we see for the first time she actually is a decent actress. You know, you can I mean, see. I mean, you saw it a few. You saw it in, in Game, Game of Thrones, Thrones but.、Yeah. You know, I I felt like oh this I can really see that she has、mm-hmm. so much more to give, so I appreciated her、um, in that role. And then again, the banter between the different characters、uh, that、yeah. she like her mother. Have, there's a different dynamic there、uh, with the new friends she makes because she's a basically a fish out of water.、Um, you know, she spent a large majority of her life in the woods, and you'll find out why. We did have fun at the very beginning, just trying to guess what the actual story was going to be about,、mm. and I came up with one that I thought was pretty good. He did. I said that needs to be a storyline. Don't say it because I won't because someone, someone will, will steal it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the fish out of water storyline I thought was very good because you see her trying to adapt to this world and all the things that she hasn't really experienced, and then you know her new friends trying to show her you know basic things that we take for granted and seeing somebody in that、uh, situation, but also somebody that is very well trained. Mm. How they do stuff in life is very different to how we would react,、mm. and that makes it fun. So,、yeah. I would say give this give this a go.、Uh, put it on your watch list, especially if you've got HBO Max, and、uh, let us know what you thought about the ending because it's a bit、yeah. of a reveal. I'm not going to do a separate video, but there's a reveal there、mm. that、um, I think I guess、I'm, I've guessed what they're saying it is, but they didn't actually come out and say it. Yeah.、Um, but yeah, if you're going to talk about it, do. Kind of say the word spoiler in the comments, and then do the dot dot dot, and then yes, talk about it because that might ruin it for others, and we don't want to do that. No.、Uh, thanks so much for watching this. Do you do you have anything else to say? Yeah, no, I'm good. Sure. Yeah. Speak now if I have hold your peace. Nah. Okay. Thanks so much for watching us, but、uh, what? Until next time. Yes. Thanks. Do you want to say it? <laughs> thanks so much for watching this. Until next time. Remember, live, live long, long and Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Did that feel weird? There.